intermittent, inter, intermittent activities of daily living is by far the one that has the most impact on health, by far. Uh, so if we look at all-cause mortality, if we look at aspects of health and well-being, finding a way to move intermittently throughout the day is by far the best kind of antidote to aging, right? In terms of a movement style or, you know, kind of um, an exercise or a strategy or protocol as it relates to movement. So that's going to be key. Um, if we're thinking kind of gym uh, landscape, I would say that um, movements that involve the entire body are going to have kind of the, the biggest bang for your buck. Because if we look at full body exercises and just pick one, you can Turkish get up, you can do, you know, whatever tool you want to use. If we're using full body exercises, uh, then nervous system, um, uh, joint actions, muscular system, uh, energy system, utility is all going to be favorable if there is only that exposure, right? So if that's all we do, it's better that we do full body integrated movement than it would be isolated movement. Not to say that there's no value to an isolated movement, but the biggest bang for your buck, you're going to get a coordinated action through the nervous system. If we're using full body integrated exercises, you're going to be able to coordinate chain reaction mechanics through the, the bony structures and the joints of the body. Um, I think from a metabolic perspective, you know, your, your, your fuel, your substrate utility is going to be one that uh, can coordinate more fuel to more muscles, thereby activating more catalyzing enzymes within the metabolic system. So just biggest bang for your buck, a full body integrated uh, movement pattern uh, is always going to be kind of a better version if that's the only thing that you're going to do. Thanks for dropping by. We hope you enjoy what you see. And if you do, click here. Not here. Here.